So today's video is uh, about timecode and the GoPro Hero cameras. Um, and if you already know about timecode or the options that there are with the Hero cameras, then you can jump ahead. I will uh, mark the chapters down below. So what, what is timecode and why timecode? Timecode is metadata written to the video that allows you to synchronize multiple cameras so that when you edit your video footage um, afterwards that you don't have um, that it's easier for you to to uh, synchronize the multiple cameras um, traditionally what you would do is you would synchronize your cameras with a waveform and um, basically if you look at movies you always have the clapboard at the start uh, of the video and that's basically your clap as your your synchronization but if the cameras are too far apart from each other then you don't have that sound you can't synchronize the video as easily the time code it doesn't really matter so on the gopro hero 4 and um, that was the first camera the hero 4 black that we got the option for time code because the company called time code systems made this sync back like basic clips on the back of the GoPro and the nice thing with that was that it also could wirelessly synchronize with other timecode systems timecode modules like the UltraSync 1 now as you can see this is actually an Atomos one and that's because Atomos since has bought timecode systems so this works with all Atomos um, timecode modules and they can synchronize with each other so you can synchronize all kinds of cameras Either if they internally support timecode, then it will be written as metadata, or you can write, uh, write the LTC timecode to an audio track and then convert it afterwards um, before you edit um, the video. So that, that was nice. Um, the Hero 5 then came out and we didn't get a sync back for that because the, uh, the, back, the, the backpack module port that we have here on the Hero 4 was removed when we got to the Hero 5. By the time the Hero 6 came out, Timecode Systems made a new sync pack. It's a bit different than the original one. So you have, you have a special case for it. It's connected via USB-C with this specific cable. And then basically this case clamps it on the back of the camera. Um, overall, it's the same use. It's all good. Um, and this sync pack works with the Hero 6 and it works with the Hero 7. The Hero 8 then was a new form factor again and um, unfortunately we haven't seen a sync back since then. So the Hero 8 came out in September, October 2019. Um, there's been no new sync back modules since then. A lot of people have stuck to the Hero 7. It was also the last that had HDMI in the camera. You now need a media mod to get HDMI. Um, and at the start of 2021, so just about two years ago now, GoPro then launched the uh, GoPro Hero Labs firmware. The Labs firmware is a full-fledged production firmware with experimental features. And one of these experimental features is the ability to sync the GoPro for time code with a QR code. So it generates a, you generate a QR code and you show it to the GoPro and the GoPro will sync to that. So that, that was a step forward again, we have time code again, but we can't sync the GoPro with other cameras. It only works with the Hero 7, Hero 8, Hero 9, Hero 10, and Hero 11. So those ones you can sync with those QR codes. Um, so the other cameras syncing them with the GoPros wasn't really possible. Now, during earlier this year, 2022, uh, tentacle sync have gone and once you have a tentacle sync uh, time code generator like this one, this is the uh, Track E Mark II, they have basically added the QR code facility to their Android and iOS time bar. So you can now use that time bar. You need at least one tentacle sync um, to generate the time code, and then you can sync your GoPros. To, um, to the tentacle sync using the time, uh, time bar application. And that makes it possible again that you can sync GoPros with other cameras, uh, which is great. 
Um, and uh, additionally then, sometime during the summer, um, the GoPro Hero Labs firmware was updated. And on the Hero 9, Hero 10 and Hero 11, you can now also timecode jam uh, the camera with um, the microphone port on the media mod. So there's a lot of options for time code again. So I'll go and I'll show um, how the different solutions work and let's jump into it. So this is the Hero 4 with the uh, time code system sync back and as you can see this is the time code systems now Atomos um, uh, Ultra Sync 1. So when you press this and then you press these two buttons, it turns on. Um, and this looks very much the same. Press two buttons and then syncs and it comes on. So they are not syncing at the moment because I haven't set them up as a, as a network. So slave on channel 2, we can actually set this as a master. Yeah, so this is now the master. This is the slave and you can see they have actually synced. That's great. And that's the same again with the Hero 7 here. The, it came with the case and then the USB cable to sync the whole thing. So we turn it on on the back and we do the same thing. We push the two buttons. That's already set to ch Slave Channel 2 and it has already gone and synced with the two other ones. So they are all in sync. So up, up to the Hero 7 now was great. They were all um, also the blinking LED indicates that they are in sync. So but the problem with that is that that's a closed system. So yes, you can have different cameras on there, but they will only work with other time code systems, time code generators. So that's the one thing. Next thing we then got was the um, QR control, and that allowed us to set the time code then. And that works with the Hero 7 if you have the lapse firmware on there. But I have the, um, I have the Hero 11 here. So the way that works is that you just show, so see here, okay, grant. So, yeah. So that's how you can set the um, QR code on any GoPro Hero 7, Hero 8, Hero 9, Hero 10, and Hero 11 via QR code. So you can sync all of the GoPros together with the same QR code. But the problem is that doesn't work for any other system. And that's where then this summer the tentacle sync cam comes in. So these little nice encoder, uh, uh, time code generators. And we'll start this one off. So that one's running. Um, you can see there's a green blinking light at the top. I then go into the app, and uh, this one's called Dick. Um, and we then say we want to sync this device and sync all. There's only the one device at the moment. Um, so it's preparing to sync, the light goes blue, and then the light goes black, back, back green when it's synced. So that's synced now. So I could connect that into any camera, any other device. So we'll then go into the tentacle sync time bar. So that they're, they're sort of clapboard, right? And here we go. And the other thing you do actually have here is you can set the offset. So the, the GoPros are often around 1100 milliseconds off. Um, that's an offset you have to set. You can set that in the, in the QR control app, but you can also set it here in the clapboard. Um, so that you don't have, so if you click, I think it's here, and you can say you don't want the QR code or you want the QR code, you want the offset, so it's minus 1100 milliseconds on that, and then set the GoPro frame, frame rate, right? Um, so that's that, and then basically take my, my GoPro here, and then basically hold it over, and that's, uh, that's it synced. So now the GoPro is synced with the tentacle sync uh, time code generator. And that means I can again go back to um, sync um, both other cameras and the GoPros together on the same time code sync. But then something else happened this summer. And um, I only spo I spotted that about 
month or two ago. So um, there is the media mod for the GoPros. Like as of the Hero 8, the GoPros they haven't got the HDMI port in the camera anymore. So you needed a media mod to get HDMI out, but you also needed the media mod to get the microphone port. So uh, they see that the audio device from GoPro has this media mod. So this has a uh, micro HDMI up here. It has a USB-C and then it has a uh, microphone port for a external microphone. And it also has a better built-in microphone here. So what you do is you remove the door of the, of the GoPro Hero. You then slide the GoPro into into the media mod and what is new now is that you can then um, as of uh, I think it's as of July firmware and it's only Hero 9, Hero 10 and the Hero 11 is you can now go in and you can then go and say okay I want to uh, sync this via LCC audio timecode on the microphone port so I put this in here And you can now see that on the back here, it, it has uh, it had there for, for a second that had the green, you take this out again. Now it says jamming, we go back in here. Now it takes the time code in green there on the screen from the tentacle sync, and it will do so continuously. Now if I remove it, it goes and it says jamming and then disappears. So it has jammed the time code at that point. So you can now even sync them if you have the media mod with the tentacle sync and we are back to that you can now also go and you can sync the GoPro back again which you haven't been able since the Hero 7 with the Atomos systems so if I take the Atomos time code module here and plug this in and there we go it's now jammed from the Atomos UltraSync 1 so that's a possibility again. And that hasn't been a possibility since the Hero 7. So Hero 8, no, sorry, not the Hero 8, but the Hero 9, the Hero 10, the Hero 11, they can now be uh, synced again with Atomos timecode systems, which is great, fantastic news. I hope this video was useful for you. Um, if so, leave us a like, maybe subscribe for future videos that might drop. I do all kinds of videos. Um, in regards to camera and streaming and uh, video technology. Oh, bye!